JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing a stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and Brookstone Bay, sire of running Brook Gow, winner of the 2009 $2 million All-American Futurity at Riavosa Downs. Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. A lot of nice three-year-olds made their seasonal debut in the Rudosa Derby Trials. One of the most impressive was Lano Teller, who was making his first start since last November. Or is he called Yano Teller? We call him Lano Teller because Mr. Wooten says he's from Lano, Texas, not Yano or Ano or whatever the rest of them call him. But, you know, this horse has been a really good horse for us all along. You know, as last year, you know, he competed around the countryside, done all he needed to do. I thought to get a championship, but he didn't. This is the biggest break he's ever had. Dr. Hayes did a cleanup surgery on him, which you can't tell where he even went in now. So I thought this horse was running really big today. I mean, we, you, as you well know, <laughs> we all even run him and everything last year. So I think with the time off, it really helped him a bunch. It takes a special individual to keep firing despite the grind, and Reed has testimony that Lano Teller is just such a horse. I had Jackie Martin loping for me one morning just because I know he's been on a lot of great horses, and he told me he said, the greatest thing about this horse and what you'll figure out about a lot of great horses of us, he's calm, collective, never makes any mistakes, waits till it's time to use his energy. And, you know, uh, a kid could train him. The kid could ride him or lead him, do whatever he wanted to do. Because he just, if you'll watch, he just walks to the paddock and never does anything. Just stands there and waits for his time. So it's been a lot of fun with this horse. Right now, nothing would be more fun than another appearance in the winner's circle on Saturday. Except perhaps jockey G.R. Carter being able to dismount without obstacles. Join Heritage Place for their annual quarter horse yearling sale. The industry's largest sale event will begin at 10 a.m. Thursday, September 15th. The three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings consigned at auction this year. Mark your calendar and make plans now to join us in Oklahoma City, where champions are sold. Heritage Place, proud sponsor of the $1 million Heritage Place Futurity. Three of the finalists from last year's All-American Futurity are back on the big stage here for the Ruidosa Derby. Now, two of them would like to see things go a whole lot different, but the other just needs to be a couple of noses faster. Mr. Pilato, Dominion, and JLS, Mr. Big Time, a three-way photo for the win. Last September, Dominion was the third nose on the wire and one of the closest All-American Futurities on record. To run third in the All-American is amazing but also to run third by that far is a little sickening, but you know, he was there and you didn't take anything away from him. And to this day, I still think he thinks he won it. So it, it's all good. <laughs> Dominion's runner up trial effort behind Lano Teller came in his first start since early October. Amanda Hadley thinks the Colt will be much better prepared on Saturday. Now that he has had the race, um, he's a completely different horse. What, going into the trials, we think, you know, he hit the front of the gate. He was a little wound up, ready to go, and it might have been just a little too ready to go. Um, now we've got his head right, and I think just him having a race and getting the air and getting the wind, it's going to help him tremendously, I think. J.D. Baccarat was squeezed out of any chance in the All-American. The Paul Jones barn hopes the gelded son of Mr. Jess Perry follows the family pattern. A typical Jess Perry that takes time to mature, uh, they make a lot better later two-year-olds, good three-year-olds, and we've got quite a few of them that have done that. Uh, we've always thought he had talent. We just needed him to focus on that talent. He appeared well-focused in the trials, qualifying against the strongest headwind of the afternoon. Lisa would love to pull off a derby upset for the partnership that includes track owner R.D. Hubbard. Uh, we did it with Nakoni one year, and it was awesome, especially beating a really nice like horse like Hearts Wide Open. It would be really nice if J.D. Backrack jumped up and beat quite a nice field that he's running against this year. Prospect to the top was disqualified and placed last in the All-American. But as trainer Ralph Muniz points out, it was just his third lifetime start. We uh, ran him once and then run him in the 
trials of the All-American. You know, it's it's uh, expecting a bunch out of a horse like that. But uh, he showed that he can compete with those kind of horses. So we're excited to see how he does the rest of the year. Prospect to the top started his three-year-old season off right with a hard-fought win in the West Texas Derby. Prospect to the top is going forward in the center. Prospect to the top ranges up on the inside is choose as they go to the wire. Prospect to the top is the winner. Then on Ruidosa Derby trial day, he rolled down the outside to post the second fastest time. Prospect to the top going right on by one sweet Jess like he was nothing. Prospect to the top, the winner. It was exactly what Muniz was looking for, and hopefully the sign of good things to come. Maybe, yeah, maybe he rises to the top. <laughs> Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta and Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.